Hello, my name is Stephen Dunn and I'm Chief Executive for AMP Capital Investors. I was more than keen to be part of the panel because I saw it as a great opportunity to actually influence uh, my peers in terms of that journey that the industry must be on, which is to regain trust um, from its clients um, and actually having a strong um, ethical fibre to the, to the industry is critical in terms of re-establishing re trust. The panel had a broad ranging um, discussion but it really came down to really ethics is a personal um, aspect and therefore you need to start with a personal commitment in terms of people actually making that commitment to act in an ethical um, manner going forward. So we thought the, the most powerful way to move forward was for us as panel mem members to actually sign up to an oath and clearly demonstrate to the market that we as individuals um, are going to act in an ethical manner and promote these standards um, throughout our firms. And I think that that actually creates that that wave or that, that tide that needs to occur throughout the, the whole firm and this is the best way to start at the individual level um, rather than trying to create some other sort of um, um, initiatives etc which become initiatives and become detached from how you want individuals to behave um, and it is at the individual level um, rather than at the corporate level or at the industry-wide level it's how the individuals um, behave in the organisation which really will actually uh, make the change in terms of driving a, a higher level or a, a better standard of ethics throughout our industry. At AMP Capital Investors we have our own charter which talks about the values and the behaviours we want to see within our firm. But the reason I've taken the banking and finance oath is to actually clearly tell the market the industry as a whole, that I value ethical behaviour in the industry as a whole. I really encourage you to take the time to read through the oath and if it actually adhe it adheres or resonates with your own value set, I'd encourage you to actually sign up and become part of the movement to improve the ethical fibre of the banking and finance industry as a whole.